Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, I thought I'd show you guys something. Well, this may just be the perfect joystick for your arcade or MAME setup. Now the first things first, I personally don't like these sticks. It's just a preference. I don't like the the movement, the, the feel of the movement. However, I do see the many positives of this particular stick. So let's get on with it. Now, what we have here is the Mag Stick Plus, and you can get this from Ultramark. These run uh, probably, I think I just looked right now, and they're about $37 each. Now, I got these from a dynamo cabinet that I recently picked up. Now, first things first. We'll just get that out of the way. Look at all the holes you got here. This is perfect because you can probably attach this to any type of control panel, whether it's an American cabinet, a Japanese candy cabinet, a modified hack job. There are just so many holes here that you know, installation is probably a breeze. Many times when you get a joystick, it'll maybe only have eight holes. Two up here, two down here, two down here, and two down here. And, you, you know, sometimes you gotta make adjustments. You might have to do simple mods, you know, just to get it to fit perfectly in your control panel. The reason is because, you know, these arcades are old and chances are, you know, sticks have been replaced and different arcade sticks will come into play they don't fit perfectly so you know there's been many times where I've seen a control panel underneath and it's been modified now again look at all these holes you have so installation should be fairly easy now you may be wondering why particular joysticks are called four-way and why other ones are called eight-way. Chances are if you've been into arcades you already know this. However, a four-way joystick only goes up, down, left, right. An eight-way joystick goes up, down, right, left, and all the diagonals. So you got up, right, down right, down left, up left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what's the difference? Well, a game like Pac Man, you only need four ways up, down, left, right. A game like Street Fighter, you need eight ways. Now, here's another thing. If you have an eight-way joystick, you can use it to play a four-way game. You can use an eight-way stick to play Pac-Man, Galaga, you know, no problem. If you have an eight-way game, I guess technically you can still use a four-way joystick, but you're very limited. So imagine, you know, playing Street Fighter and you can only jump up. You can't jump back, you can't jump forward. So that's just a simple way of looking at it. Now, one reason why I don't like this particular stick is the movement is very, very small. Now that may be good, some people like that. I personally don't. Now, why is this stick good? Well, this particular stick, you can change it from four-way to eight-way, and you don't have to even open up your control panel. Here's the thing. When this is mounted, say you want to change this uh, from one to the other, all you got to do is pull up on the joystick and turn clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, what that does is there's a lever right here. And when you turn this, you can see the lever moves.
Now, as I said, this is the MagStick Plus. There's a cheaper version. It's just called the MagStick. And what you have to do is you have to actually open up your control panel and physically turn this. The MagStick Plus, you don't have to open up your control panel. You just pull up and then turn. Let's see. So that is definitely a plus. Now, what does it do when you actually pull up? Well, let's see if we can focus in right there. You see that little notch at the base? You see those little prongs? When you pull up, it slides into there and then you turn. And that's what allows you to switch from four way to eight way. Right now, this one is in eight way. You can see it right there. Try and get a good focus. It's kind of hard with this camera. But there you can see how I'm pushing diagonal this way and both cherry switches are pushed. Now, let's go to four way. And as you can see, I'm trying to push diagonal and I can't. However, I can push, you know, up, down, left, right. Now another plus, which people claim is a plus, most joysticks, the handle has a spring on the inside. And that's what lets you go back and forth and that's what allows the joystick to go towards the center. This one apparently has magnets on the inside, which mag magnetically force the joystick into the neutral position. Try and get a better focus here. Now again, I don't particularly care for this joystick, however, there are many advantages. So, if you're building yourself a main cabinet, you might consider this. Like I said, if you want a true, you know, more authentic feel, you'll want to play four-way games with a four-way joystick and eight-way games with an eight-way joystick. So, rather than, you know, having to switch out the, the joysticks all the time, you buy this thing and it's just one joystick and you switch back and forth. Like I said, you can get these at Ultimark. They're about $37. These ones I'm probably going to be selling because, again, I don't really care for them, but I do see the advantages. Give you another look at the bottom. Very interesting. Like I said, you want to switch, you just, you know, pull up on the joystick. Now, of course, you might have to turn the joystick first because you can see the notch is right there in the middle and I can't go. So I got to turn around before I can notch it in the place and then turn. So there you are. This is what may be considered a perfect joystick for your MAME or arcade setup. Again, I personally don't care for it, but maybe you guys will. So if you have any questions, let me know. And there you are. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.